Good afternoon and welcome to the beautiful campus of Missouri Western State University. I'm Doug Davenport, Associate Provost. We are pleased that so many members of Paul's family and friends are able to join us today to present an honorary degree with humane letters to Paul Gray Greer. It is my honor to introduce Dr. Robert A. Vardabedian, President of Missouri Western State University, who will introduce the faculty and administrators who are present today. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Davenport. I would like to echo his sentiments in terms of having you on our campus. It's so nice to have you here today, family and friends of Paul. Uh, we're here to honor Paul. He has given so much to others. We have chosen today to give back to him. So uh, we appreciate yeah. you uh, sharing in this jo joyous occasion. Uh, we have representatives from the university here that I'll briefly introduce. To my right, in front of me, is the provost, Dr. Jeannie Daffron. Next to her, would you like to stand? So, okay, Dr. Daffron. Next to her is Dr. Murray Neighbors, who's the Dean of the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences. Of course, you've met uh, Dr. Davenport, uh, Doug Davenport, our Associate Provost. Then we have uh, Dr. Stephen Hatch from the Biology Department. And we have Professor Gerald Small from the Department of Health, Physical Education, and Recreation. Uh, interestingly enough, uh, Dr. Steve Greyert is retiring shortly, which uh, is a, a painful thing for all of us, but uh, he's here today to speak on behalf of the university in terms of our feelings towards Paul, and uh, well, I'll turn things over to Dr. Breyer to say a few words. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Bartabedian, and welcome to Missouri Western State University. Paul Gray Greer was born in Wausau, Wisconsin on June 13, 1989. He is 25 years old. He has three brothers and one sister. All of the Greers look back on their home education with smiles. When Paul was 11 years old, the whole family served in an orphanage in Moscow, Russia for four months. What a life-changing and hands-on learning experience that was for all of the Greers. In 2005, Paul's parents desired to allow their 16-year-old son to graduate a year early. Paul had received a medical diagnosis which, which in the future could cause great concern. His parents encouraged their son to pursue a dream. Paul left St. Joseph to serve with Novo Ministries in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, a faith-based nonprofit program. Serving full-time for two years, year-round, Paul would work in the office running Novo's database programs, and in the afternoons and evenings, he would take his place in teaching children. The public school, after school was out, and in an apartment housing areas proved to be a needy place for the teaching of character and lessons from the Bible. This was always with the endorsement of the leadership of the schools and apartment housing. A valuable, a valuable team member, Paul enjoyed the long, challenging, but meaningful days. In 2008, Paul came back to St. Joseph, took his ACT, and scored high enough to be awarded the President's Scholarship at Missouri Western. Wow. <laughs> After a year of pursuing college in the Honors Program, Paul underwent an extensive surgery the next year. This sadly also resulted in an inability to pursue academics as easily as before. However, Paul continued to pursue courses at Western as able since that time, still enjoying the task of being a student. Paul has also worked as an administrative assistant at Marlowe White Military Dress Uniform Company in Leavenworth, Kansas. This has been an opportunity to serve his country as well as being employed. Over the years, Paul Greer has been an encouragement to so many family, friends, medical caregivers, and especially other members of his local church. He has maintained a Paul sense of humor, <laughs> often passing on many smiles. Yeah. It has been my honor and a privilege as a faculty member to serve as Paul's faculty advisor since he returned to Missouri Western. I had the pleasure of teaching or working with him in the fall semester in class when he, uh, when he enrolled in my survey class in American history prior to the Civil War. <clears throat> I took great pleasure in seeing his success on essay exams and outside writing assignments. I didn't cut him any slack, he didn't ask for any. He definitely kept me on my toes with his excellent and timely questions. He sat right in the front row and periodically his hand would come up and he would ask me excellent questions about mm -hmm. history. Mm -hmm. 
It has been a joy to see him succeed so well in his academic work. Paul and I also share something else in our lives. He and I are the two biggest Green Bay Packers fans in the state of Missouri. <laughs> we have talked many times about their progress during their regular season, their personnel decisions, and their game strategy. But Paul has more influence than I do in Green Bay Packer business because he is a stockholder <laughs> in the team. The Packers are a community-owned team, and he purchased one share of stock some time ago, and he is an owner of the Green Bay Packers. <laughs> <laughs> I envy him greatly. <laughs> I'm confident that he is the only Missouri Western student who can claim that status. <laughs> Go Pack! <laughs> Finally, I want to say that Paul Greer is the embodiment of courage. Yep. He never complains. He is always upbeat and positive. He's a true servant of the Lord, and he's taught me far more than I've taught him. Amen. Thank you, Paul. Paul Gray Greer, would you please come forward? President Vardivian, as Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs, I take great pleasure in presenting to you Mr. Paul Gray Greer, candidate for an honorary Bachelor of Humane Letters, and recommend that his degree be conferred at this time. Thank you, Colonel Stanford. Paul Gray Greer, by the authority invested in me by the Board of Governors of Missouri Western State University, I confer upon you the honorary degree of Bachelors of Humane Letters with all the rights, privileges, and dignities appertaining to that degree. In accordance with usual custom and as a token of our appreciation and respect for you, we present you with this certificate as a visible symbol of our high regard for you. Congratulations, Paul. Yeah, Paul! and talk to Paul and uh, others here. Uh, so uh, you consider that an open invitation to, to stay here as long as you'd like. But before doing that, we would like to close with a prayer by Pastor Bill Marshall. Uh, Pastor Marshall is of the Bible Baptist Temple, Paul's Church. And so uh, Pastor Marshall, if you would come forward with the closing prayer, appreciate it. Would you bow with me in prayer now, please? Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of life and for the ability that you've given us to learn. And we thank you for places such as Missouri Western State University where men and women can prepare that they may go and be productive in our society. And we thank you for those that you have placed here to teach and ask that you would guide them in all that they do as they labor to impart knowledge to others. And we want to thank you for Paul's parents who have raised him in your nurture and admonition. Mm -hmm. They've instilled in him truths that have helped to shape him into the man that you would have him to be. Mm -hmm. We thank you for their steadfastness and willingness to guide him in the way of truth, even though it goes against what the mainstream of society believes today. Mm -hmm. and we want to thank you for Paul and for his heart to assist people in this world. He's labored over the years for the sake of others being helped. His desire was that they might live the life that you have for them. We know that he'll continue to be the best encouragement possible for as many days as you see fit to allow him to stay on this earth. And we're very thankful, Lord, that you've gave Paul the, uh, the gift of eternal life 
on the day that he trusted Jesus Christ as his personal Savior. Mm -hmm. Jesus' death, burial, and resurrection is still the hope for a lost and dying world. And we know that Paul has shared that testimony with me and he asked you that you continue to help him to be a witness of the wonderful truth mm -hmm. that Jesus saves from the penalty of sin. Mm -hmm. Thank you for this university that has honored Paul for this, his achievements. Please guide each professor and each member of this faculty in the way of truth. Dismiss us now with your blessing, we pray. In the precious name above all names, the Lord Jesus Christ, amen. 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 amen.